Another delivery of boaters. Hey, what's up everyone? We just finished up the woodring project, a beautiful backyard, big old pond with a patio, and 15 minutes from there is our next one. So here's the new slate, new project, not a new day. We just pulled off of that one, brought everything down here, and tomorrow morning, we're gonna start raising havoc here. However, things did come today. There's a bunch of a rock here. We're gonna build a stream out of this stuff, a bunch of gravel, all our aquascape components, all our stuff from the last job sitting up there on the street. Here's the area we're gonna be working in. This is gonna be nice too. We're putting in a 16 by 21 koi pond with a 12 foot stream, super nice feature. I love those. Uh, that's what we got to replace. I think it's seen its better days. So we're gonna move the new one in against the patio a lot closer, right in this area. And then we're gonna kick the stream up over here and possibly the very top fall facing the driveway a little bit. They hope they can get some going that way. Top one going in here, wrapping around, crashing into the pond over here. So that's the plan. It's gonna be a nice area. Another really nice backyard. We're gonna do some destruction tomorrow morning. See you guys in the morning. you doing Ben? Hey just um, looking for some fishies. We're gonna relocate them into a fish tank until we have their new five-star resort built. This is uh, quite the mess here. This is exactly why shelves, ponds with two little rocks don't really work very well. They did do shelves which is good. That's how we do except they don't stay on very well. And after a while, all your little rocks are down the bottom of the pond and you have all this nasty liner exposed. So we're gonna take this out and build something new. Look at the beautiful color of that water. They're home for the next week or so. Three days. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Mostly we are landscapers, but sometimes we are loggers. I'm gonna wacko that tree over there and we tore out a bunch of brush. So was, occasionally we do some logging as well. Well, 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 here she be. A clean slate for the new pond. Took the tree out and then whenever we uh, put a new pond in somewhere where there was an old one, it's typically just easiest to dig everything out, fill it in completely, get a nice level pad and then re-dig it out. It's the best, we've found it's the best way to do it. So with this one, I dug a big hole over there, dug out all the rocks, piled them in there and buried them. So now we get to paint, and create something beautiful. So there you have it. That's the shape of our pond. It's a nice, neat pair. Even has this a little uh, stem on it, yeah. Stream comes in here, wraps over here, and starts here. Crash, crash, crash into the pond. On water. Into the skimmer. Then, then the whole way around. And into the skimmer. There's there's water in the skimmer. <laughs> hey, you know what? Where should we run our plumbing line? We run our plumbing line this way, like it'd be nice. It's gonna be in the way for a negative advantage. Eventually, we're gonna have extra liner over here. And at some point, they're gonna add another pond down here. Because they're thinking of building a space down there. So eventually, a negative edge is gonna come out of this pond into a pond down below. Walkway is gonna come off the patio down there to the living space down there. So this pond would be for the house. This pond would be for the living space down there. So that's the plan. It's lunchtime now, so I quit. Hey, what's 
popping everyone we have a whole day if we could just build one a little bit bigger than this we'd have wreck time but this looks huge we decided to not go three shelves deep right along the patio that was Deej's idea still gonna look three shelves deep he thinks deep. if we put a big rock out here it'll still look like there's three shelves and we don't have to use such big rocks yeah, that's pretty cool so yeah, skimmer goes over in here, which I probably should have had it yesterday. Skimmer goes over here, waterfall comes in there, and big old pond. This is always my favorite part of every pond. When I have a patio here and I can make it nice and deep and put a big flat rock out over here, it allows you to interact with the pond and feed the fish and sit on the rock and dangle your legs in the water. It's just my favorite part of every pond. So here's one of the things that distinguishes a good pond, a properly built pond, from a not properly built pond. We excavate everything in shelves. We did three shelves, so there's increments. Sometimes there's double shelves, which means it's twice as deep there. But what that allows you to do then, it creates a nice vertical spot for you to put your rocks so they're not all gonna roll down into the bottom of the pond and then you have steep sloping sides of liner. If you excavate your pond like a soup bowl, there's no place to stably set your boulders. So we excavate like this. It allows us to ring this edge with boulders, fill this in with gravel. Then these boulders will be higher than the shelf and you'll be able to put gravel in here. The gravel is not gonna roll down into here because your boulders set on this shelf are gonna be high enough to retain that gravel and everything stays in place and you don't see any rubber liner and, and this is true to any size pond even if you're just doing a small one in your backyard that you're hand digging same concept it doesn't matter if you're swimming in giant boulders with the excavator or you're you're bringing in one manners and just building a little pond so for your backyard project absolutely dig your pond that way and things will stay there All right, step two. This is just a felt underlayment that we put in before we put in our liner. That liner is pretty durable stuff, but this will, it's just a precaution. If there's any sharp rocks or anything, we don't want them poking through there. So we put this down, protects the liner, and now we're ready to put in the liner. Step three, put in your liner. Ben's dead, I think. Nope, I'm still alive. This is step three. Not, not lie in the bottom of the pond, but put in your rubber liner. And if I have a really big boulder, I'm gonna put fabric on the bottom as well. So I'll have fabric below the liner and above the liner if I have a big boulder. Um, just small or medium sized boulders. You can set right on top of here. The next step is rock in your pond. This part is make sure your boulders are high enough. Top of my shelf is maybe about 28 inches. I'm gonna go with about a 31 inch boulder. The reason for that being is the boulder that I set right here is going to retain the gravel on this shelf. And if it's a little bit low, it's all going to trickle down over here and pretty soon I'll see um, gravel up there. So we're going to start swinging in boulders, making sure they're always higher than the shelf right here. And wherever I have opportunity, I'm going to look for a chance to build a cool fish cave. Probably right here would be a cool spot. Set two boulders right here, put a big flat guy on top of there and make a nice spot for the fish to go underneath. Also a cool spot to put lights in. You always want to make sure that you can see the light, but not the source of the light. You don't want that pinprick of light shining in your face. So we look for places where we can recess them and stick them in underneath so that they'll shine out, but you won't see them. Okay, let's start strapping them up. everyone it is day two from up here in state college where we're building this 16 to 20 koi pond and yesterday evening we didn't talk to you guys at all but me and ben quick before we left we set two of the uh, framing boulders for the stream as you can see but on the uh, agenda for the day is rocking in the pond putting the skimmer box in and valor over there he is trenching in the electric line Ben isn't here. He is out traipsing around with the aquascape owner, Greg the Pond Guy, and Weston, looking at some of the old projects we did last year, years back, some of the better projects. Anyway, 
So I'll be playing uh, foreman for the day. So we're gonna get at it. <laughs> 